We begin our six o'clock hour with Decision 2022 and a major deadline to make sure that your voice is heard. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Mark Curtis. And I'm Rachel Cole in for Cree Bay this evening. We have a lot to get to throughout the hour, but first let's get to the major dates you need to know ahead of the November 8th election. Today is the last day to register to vote for the November election. The easiest way to register is online. No matter where you live in Arizona, just head to servicearizona.com. Early ballots start going out tomorrow, which also means voting locations and drop boxes will open so voters can start casting their ballots this week. You have until November the 1st to mail your ballot back, and then Election Day arrives Tuesday, November the 8th. Meanwhile, the Valley's 13% inflation rate, the highest in the country, is a top concern for the candidates for governor. Republican Carrie Lake rolled out her plan today to give you a tax cut on groceries and home rentals. Team 12 political insider Bram Resnick joins us now to break it all down. Bram? Yeah, Mark, Carrie Lake wants to wipe out the taxes cities collect when you go to the grocery store or pay the rent. But there are questions about how many people would benefit and how Lake would pay for that tax cut. One of the concerns I keep getting from people from all walks of life is, wow, we can't afford just the basics anymore. Republican candidate for governor Carrie Lake delivering tax cuts in a Glendale meat market. This will put a half a billion dollars back in the pockets of Arizonans. Here's what we know about Lake's proposed elimination of the tax on groceries and rent. Lake's tax cuts wouldn't provide much in the way of savings to residents of the state's largest city. Phoenix doesn't have a tax on groceries, nor do the state's second and third largest cities, Tucson and Mesa. As for the 2% residential rental tax here in Phoenix, according to the U.S. Census, Four in every 10 housing units are rentals. A tenant in the average one-bedroom apartment would save about 28 bucks a month. Lake wants to pay for what could be a half-billion-dollar tax cut out of the state's budget surplus. But the state's independent budget crunchers project that the next governor will have a surplus of just $2.8 billion to work with. The surplus is projected to plunge as low as $142 million two years later. Those projections mean Lake and the next legislature might not have a large enough surplus to cover hundreds of millions of dollars in tax revenue lost by cities all over the state. Those tax dollars help pay for vital services like law enforcement. Lake's opponent, Democrat Katie Hobbs, provided this comment. Carrie Lake's bare-bones excuse of a plan falls far short of tackling what Arizona families are going through. One of Arizona's top economists even said Carrie Lake's economic agenda could actually make inflation worse. I know what it's like to support a family through tough times, which is why I've put forth a plan to cut taxes for 800,000 Arizona families and help people get back to work. And we'll hear more about Carrie Lake's plans for Arizona on Wednesday during her televised one-on-one -on -one interview with moderator Ted Simons on Arizona Horizon. That 30-minute interview takes the place of the one-hour debate that Katie Hobbs rejected. Lake's interview airs at 5 p.m. Wednesday on Arizona PBS Channel 8. Let's send it back to you. Bram.